We have a question from Patrick Gunn, who says, Thanks very much for the help with the swing arm angle. Hey, I have another question for you. I see you used an Elka Shark on your 675. Using one on my road bike, is there any way to keep the nitrogen in the Shark? And what do you recommend to get some real low speed damping? Better oil? Thanks for, the, thanks for answering the question. All right, Patrick, Elka Shark. Uh, great product, used it with great success on the 675, um, helped with them to develop some of the sharks over the last few years and obviously Elka has done incredibly well internationally with that shark if you look at their race record, so it's a very proven piece of equipment. Now, when you say how do you keep the nitrogen in, the first thing that comes to my mind is that you do not have a valve cap cover over the Schrader valve on the shock itself. So if anything catches that, it will let the nitrogen out. And so I will be firstly looking immediately to that, do you have a valve cover cap on it? If you don't, get the shock recharged, put the cap back on it, and go ahead and run it. And if it holds the charge, then there's not an issue. It also could be that the straighter valve itself is loose and needs to be gently tightened in that it's bleeding air off <clears throat> slightly, uh, nitrogen <laughs> off slightly. If you want to do the quick down and dirty test, a little bit of saliva over the top of the valve will tell you if it's bleeding nitrogen out very slowly. So then you can immediately quantify whether you are have a slow leak or whether actually it's something completely different. Now, sometimes if a shock has a bladder versus a piston, if the bladder gets a tiny pinhole in it, then the nitrogen will leak out into the shark and that can cause all kinds of other problems, including a very odd hydraulic damping sensation. So again, in, re in regards to your question, if you, th if you are bleeding nitrogen off, and a quick test for that is that your rebound adjustment, because it's a spring and a detent ball, the click between each setting will get fainter and fainter as the pressure bleeds off. If your damping is suspect, then that is probably a function of the shock losing or discharging low speed compression because of the nitrogen disappearing and the shock not working properly. So again, recharge the shock, put the valve cap cover on it, and go through your range of settings on low speed. Start with zero, and depending on the number of clicks, say you have 18, break it down into four, four increments, or three. Go 18, 10, 4, something in that range, or 2, and break it way down. And can you feel a difference in each setting? And if you can't, then the question would be is the valve stack that you have correct? Is the spring that you have on the shark correct? Is it too soft so that actually you get no structural support from the spring? So the shark is in effect blowing through the travel. Again, as always, I do a very finite analysis of every component to make sure that everything in the string of thought is correct. So looking through it, the Schrader valve is correct in terms of tightness so it's not bleeding. You have a valve cap on it, which will reduce any incidence of you accidentally or a rock accidentally hitting it and discharging it. Is sag set correctly? Is the shock spring correct for your weight? Is it the right install preload on the spring? And is the high, is are the hydraulics set correctly? Once all of that's done, go through your range of adjustment from beginning full soft to full stiff. Can you feel a difference? If you can't feel a difference, maybe there's not enough charge in the shark, i.e., the pressure is too low. And depending on the size of the reservoir, as most of the elkers are remote, you may have too low a pressure in terms of nitrogen installed into the reservoir itself, which will cause you to have poor low speed damping. So again, check the charge when it's done and ask specifically what was put in there. It can be anywhere from 170 to 200. On some of the bigger reservoirs, like the old Fox Shocks, it's actually up to 300. So get that checked and then let us know how that went. Thanks very much for your question. If you have questions for me, please send them via Facebook to Dave Moss Tuning. Thanks very much.